Hi, this is Cynthia Ortiz. It is the uh, hang on, 11th of January, 2023, and these are the Charles Perry Starker podcasts. I'll do the disclaimer. These allegedly, nobody's been found guilty in a court of law just yet. Apply the about for legal standard, a reasonable, prudent, individual standard, if you can reason. Um, and I assert all constitutional rights, especially but not limited to equal protection of the laws in the state where I live and Mr. Perry doesn't live, TPD, Mr. Bender, uh, against misogyny and gender discrimination. We have a 44% increase in murder, domestic violence victims, and now we know why. Um, since 2020, DVIS tells us, DVIS has a ride system set up for women because these fuckers go at the car. It's just what they do. Um, I'm a victim of stalking, so I assert the, my right to the equal protection of all the laws against stalking, hacking, peeping. Cre he's a creepster. Mr. Charles Perry's a creepster. And, uh, you know, obstruction of justice, perjury, destruction of evidence, coercion, witness tampering, I mean, attempted murder, assault, and battery. And uh, the violation of my basic rights and needs, deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce, interference with commerce and contracts with intent to coerce, grand larceny with intent to coerce. Um, if I'm speaking in the third person, I've heard this asked a lot um, from our guys are like, you're not going to believe this. These people are dumb as bricks. Um, we've heard a couple of times when they're listening to your podcast go, why does she speak in the third person? And someone actually has to tell them she's quoting someone dumbass so uh that's why she's speaking in the third person she's quoting someone else okay everybody clear on that okay if i'm speaking first person i'm speaking for me if i'm speaking third person i'm quoting another person another individual is talking not me okay everybody clear on that all right mr perry nobody invited you to oklahoma you have come up here and blown lives up and caused a lot of damage and used tax Taxpayer money to do it. Taxpayer funded resources to do it. You have caused me, um, you're a threat to my safety and well being. Okay, we've established that, sir. You have investigators on you, like ugly on an ape who get really pissed off every day that I don't have money. Okay, so when we get stuff like this, you asked for it. It's not legal, but I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures that out. That was in 2019. Since that time, my car has been wrecked four times. I've had a brick thrown at me. I've had the radiator hose punctured. I've had uh, tires blown, tires with a uh, poked hole in them. I've had uh, a uh, oil drained out. I went outside and the oil was drained all the way out. I've had police wake me up in the middle of the day because I worked all night dancing. And go check your tail light. He had your tail light taken out so you'd be pulled over. Go fix it. That was when I was in Vanford. All of this stuff has been documented and documented and documented and said over and over and over. Mr. Perry is trying to traffic me. He's trying to starve me because I'm not going to go voluntarily and just, you know, be raped. Why would I do that? No one would do that. Um, I, no one owes you guys anything. So when we get names like Calvin, who's bald and fat, and he does the DoorDash crap. Sonjay, who's your hacker, does the DoorDash crap. Lucius does as well. Um, let's see, who else? Blankenship, Desiree, Beverly, Kate, now we got Kate. Um, Kate's name. James and Ruben, uh, and now Chris. Everybody, Mr. Perry's asking me, did Chris and Al leak about us having OHP pull you over today on purpose to harass you? To take your car? Perry has told everybody who will listen, if I can just take our car away, then she'll want me, then she'll like me. Oh my God. So for years he's asked me, uh, no one has 
at this point been able to determine uh, how information gets from him to my guys to me. Now they peep, they know how I, it gets from them to me. I have a secured phone. Them to me. It's not hard. You call police on the phone, they call you. It's no big deal. You have a, you're a peeping Tom. You got to know that. Um, but I guess they're looking for other ways too because there's some stuff they didn't catch. So you hired a guy to look into it. And what he said is these guys are not the brightest bulbs. I, I can't even deal with it. I mean, they, they, they had her in a strip club where they had access to her. They dried up the money, so she quit going in there and increased the threat. So she quit dancing. Then they're trying to get her back to dancing. Then they took her clothes, and, and she has no money to take care of herself. So she's not going to go dance. And, uh, I mean, I got skin hanging off me. They're literally trying to starve me until I lie. Does that sound like that's in the best interest of my safety and well-being? It's not. You got 40 cops that really care about me a lot. I've known them most of my adult life. And they fucking go at you when my safety and well-being is at risk, sir. And you need to know that by now. You got to know that by now. 10 years. It shouldn't take you 10 years. Mental slow. You need to catch up with everybody else. And you can't. They also told me you have Huntington's disease. See, Mr. Perry didn't tell us he has Huntington's disease. He didn't want anybody to know. But our guys found out, and it's a major factor in this. It causes delusion, paranoia, hallucinations, and he can't reason cognitively. doesn't have it. You can sit him down and explain something to him, and he will not get it. He doesn't understand a fucking thing I say. And you can tell by the way he acts. Not a word of it. It's going right over his head. It's not clicking. Because he's got this disease. So whichever police officer was told, pull her over. And the guy said, no. Well, he wants her to apologize and sign this uh, affidavit he wrote for her. Apologize. And... Yeah, for, uh, for what? She knows about it? Yeah, she knows about it. And he, and he still thinks he can pull that off? Yeah. No. Fuck no. I'm not pulling her over. I'm not going to be the one to do that. My, I'm a police officer. My, my reputation's on the line. This guy's mentally unstable. And I'm not putting my name on a mentally, unstable's, a mentally unstable guy's decision. Bad decision. I'm not doing it. So, and I do have a choice. I, th I think he was told, you, don't, you may not have a choice. And he said, yeah, I do. I have a choice. I'm not doing it. I don't know which one said that. I'm not told that. So today he says, is it Chris and Al? Types that in my phone because he's hacked it. That told, okay, how many years that I've been doing podcasts that everybody's heard me say, I'm not told who the leaks are? How, how many times do I have to repeat myself? You're coming up to Oklahoma where you don't live uninvited. You're coming up here and you're a troublemaker. And all you can do is sit around on your fat, lazy ass, watching TV, pretending you have a love life, making one problem after another problem after another problem, and you're fucking hated. Everybody fucking hates you. Why would they not? Why would they not? People like people who make life easy and fun. And you've caused a lot of stress and anxiety and guilt, and uh, I'm sick of my stomach, and that's weirdo, and I'm uncomfortable with it, and uh, asking people to do things they don't want to do, or threatening them into it, just like you're doing me. You're going to be trafficked or I'm going to starve you until you lie. You're going to eat out of a, of a dumpster or you're going to be trafficked. And I said, no, I'll eat out of a dumpster. Thank you. I'm not going to get raped and I'm not going to be forced against my will to leave the place I came to get away from you. You weren't invited here. And you're making people very angry at you because you have to repeat yourself for you all the time. I've never in my life had to repeat myself this much. Mr. Perry, you got to keep up. Write it down or get an assistant or get a nurse or a special ed teacher to help you. You truly have a disease that we got from the cops that are helping me. They're not TPD. They're way above TPD. Way the fuck above TPD. You can tell in their conduct. You can tell in their work product. Look at that. I didn't get that from TPD. This is about coercion. I'm going to false arrest her and force her against her will to do or say something she don't want to do. That is a crime, just so you know. Apparently, your attorney doesn't explain that stuff to you. Okay, well, I have a prosecutor that explains it to me. What day is he going to arrest you? What day are they going to make arrests? Huh? This whole thing is about coercion. It was back in 2015. You so upset and disturbed somebody, they, tell, they told us about it. It's called the McNamara email. Look how long ago this was. We, got, we approach you to every day. We got people's names that work for you. I just, I just listed them off. You have not one name. And not one clue. And you're not going to get a date with me. You're not even close to being good enough. You're not. In my opinion, you need to be in a damn nursing home, sir. 
you can't even function. You can't function. So, uh, I don't know what the hell's rest of, wrong with the rest of you, but the guy said... <coughs> so, they, 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 they run her out of the club where they had access to her. Then they're trying to force her back into it, but they take all the shit she would need to do that job. And then, and, and make her look like a fucking uh, a concentration camp victim. And then, uh, which, that's not sexy. And, and, and then, she wants to write. Well, they ruin that. But if she's writing, she's at home, and she doesn't have a exposure to a lot of people. Instead, they get her door dashing, where she's in and out of restaurants, and she's going up and down, to, you know, delivering to their people. People they had order, get around an algorithm, and get her as the driver. Because drivers are chosen randomly by algorithm. They're not chosen by you. So there's no chance I would, uh, you know, get your people. Who, you know, you want to get their doorbell, you know, to get, get a, a picture of me. Or you want to get me to drive down XYZ Street so you can all have office or some, something, something pull me over. I mean, I've been pulled over three times in a week. And uh, I'll go over that in a minute. N not one cop asked, acted like they want to catch the bad guy. Not, not one cop showed z z any interest at all. In catching a bad guy. A cop killer, by the way. So, uh, and I'm not going to say allegedly. I know you killed Chief Miller. And you almost killed Mike and, ki and framed him. We know that. You wouldn't be going after me like you are if you didn't. And everybody has said that. If she wasn't telling the truth, he wouldn't be trying to make her lie. And this letter of apology in this affidavit is his words, not my words. And I won't sign it. I'll shove it up his ass. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie for you. I don't know what the hell you, th you, you think you are. Serial killers have grandiose thinking and a sense of entitlement. You're a serial killer, and I know that. And I, who's Mary Beth? Where she, where'd you leave her body? Outside a lake, just outside, uh, dumped at a lake just outside Billing, Billings, Montana. You said you were in Montana when you were talking to me and Randy. So, um, you know, what about Justice Scalia? The suspicion around that, that uh, murder cop William O. Ritchie had about the thing of his death. Now, it's three or more. Three or more dead people. You're trying to kill me. Everybody knows if he can get her hands on her, 24 hours, she's gone. So, who do you think you're fooling, Mr. Perry? Now, when he continues to ask me, who are the leaks? I'm not told that. I've said that over and over and over. There are three people that know that. And I'm not in that. I'm not the one of the three. And you're not entitled to know that. Now, no, listen to the words, everybody. I'm going to say it one time. If you're fucking stupid and slow, this is not my problem. Here's how this works. You're criminals. You're committing crime. They're catching you. You plan it. They get it while you're planning it. We always get it before, not after. I haven't been trafficked yet. Been I know I've been trafficked. Sold to some realtor out in Houston, Sugarland. He thought, you know, he's created some sort of an imaginary romance with me too. I don't know the guy. Don't know him from Adam. These guys can get that to me in jail. That isn't your name. It's Fabian's name. By the way, Fabian is not a common name. Certainly not as common as Charles. And your name's not on it. Fabian's name is on it. They got that to me when you had me, when you carried out this threat right here. They got to me that then. Okay, they're ape shot on all, all, all of you. That's why we can get information and you can't. You're a threat to my safety and well-being. They're going to go ape shot on, ape shit on you. Okay, this right here. We need to get her back to Texas where we can do more harm to her. We're having a hell of a time in Oklahoma. My guys go where I go, just so you know. I don't want to go to Texas. You're trying to kidnap me. Okay, and then he did. This was in February. This was February 9th. Look at the date here. February 9th, 2021. Mike's trial was in March. Yeah. We can't get her kicked out. You're trying to intimidate me, Calvin. Calvin, we know everything you do. Just so you know. Yeah, I don't know who you think you are. You're bald, you're fat, you can't get a date either. Yeah, Lucius, uh, I mean, I don't know you guys. I didn't come here to pick a fight with you. You didn't lose anything. I have. You're picking the fight. And I guess somebody got yelled at last night. Next time you pick a fight, next time you start something, make sure you know who it is you started something with. Because we can't get to these guys. And you can't. It'll be too late. What he said is he'll help you as much as he can. Which gets less and less that he can do the longer you drag this out. But I, my safety and well-being have to come first. I have my privacy back. I have my friends and family back. I have my money back. And you're gone. You're in compliance with the law. You don't contact me ever again. And I won't help you. He will. Only he can help you. I don't have any desire to help you. 
I want for you to be gone. I don't want you in my life. I came here to get away from you and be with my family. And you have come here and fucked everybody over and lied to everybody and bullshitted and made up stories that are made promises you can't keep. And uh, you got a lot of people turned against you, sir, because you did that. You know, you got a mental problem. That's for you and your family to deal with. You don't bother me with it again. Do you hear me? Don't bother me with that shit anymore. Don't bother anybody with that shit anymore. Your mental disease. And we're sick of repeating. Everybody's tired of repeating things for you. You you go get a nurse and you go deal with this with your own family and stop bothering everybody else with it. You don't have a choice. When you do when you don't listen, we get this. When we got this, we also got Calvin bald fat Calvin's name. We get we got Blankenship and Desiree's name too. Right after this. Because people get pissed off. They're worried about my safety and well being, not you. Not you at all. You don't get any information. You don't get a date. You don't get shit. Until I have my money back, my friends and family back, my privacy back, and you're not in contact with me ever again. You're gone. No, I'm going to say it one more time. For 10 years, we get the information you can't get. We get it before you do it, not after. No other victim has that. No other victim knew that you trans, uh, trafficked him before you did it. No other victim has solved a murder you committed to cover that up. No other victim found out you had cameras in their house. And that you're causing the problems. I did. So remember who it is you're talking to when you start threatening me with something. Okay? I'm the one doing that. I have a lot of help. 40 of us. And most of us are Christians, by the way. Geppetto. So, uh, Geppetto's your witch. You hired to... Po I'll, uh, we'll cast spells on her and then maybe she'll change her mind. Oh gosh, it's not working. Does she have sage? Sage runs off evil spirits. No, I don't. I have a Bible. Geppetto, and I pray. You know, what, who the fuck do you think you are? Um, you guys are creeping everybody out. This, then after, okay, we got this before. This is what, a recording that police have that they played for me. And then she tried to do it. Can't get her kicked out for non-payment. We can't take do what we normally do, take these women's money, get them fired from their job, make sure they can't find another job. David, did you want to prove us out or not? Uh, Lucius, do you want to prove us out or not? Um, did you, did you, you know, we can't get her kicked out on COVID, so let's try smoking. That's on the 9th. On the 15th, that's exactly what she tried to do. Look at that. This landlord was also told, I have a stalker. You are not to give out any information on me to anyone at all. Oh, I promise we won't. We only give out information to your emergency contact and only in the case of an emergency. And she lied. Boldface lied. This landlord said, how many people have you gotten kicked out of their homes? And I heard that recording too. This landlord also said, uh, she can handle herself in court. I've seen her. Because the judge said, uh, there's a case that you can't, uh, you can't seal a domestic violence victim's, uh, a, who participates in the address confidentiality program. You can't seal that from the record. And I said, what's the case? Name the case. Cite it. You'll have to look it up. I don't know. Nope, Judge, I don't know what case you're referring to. You're going to have to cite the case you are talking to, talking about. Never would do it. Just went on to the next thing. So I sat there and challenged the judge. You're telling me there's case precedence for you to deny my request to seal my address. Because now it's public and I got a stalker. Now you can just find it. And she said, there's a case. You can't. Okay, What? fine. What's the case? Cite it for me. Uh, I don't know, you know, you'll have to look it up. No, 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 I don't have to look it up. Because I'm going to look something up and I'm not sure that's the case you're talking about. I need you to tell me what case you are talking about, Judge. And she never did. Never could, never did. That was another one that had a dismissal that didn't make any sense. We got a hearing scheduled twice. Once in the state lawsuit that I filed against Mr. Perry. Um, this was on Lady Godiva's part of it, uh, the motion to default, and then this one, where I file, there's supposed to be a hearing. The judge says, let's have a hearing. And then all of a sudden, it's, the whole thing's dismissed. Okay, you got reporters with law degrees, Mr. Perry. You think everybody's as stupid as you are, and you're stupid for thinking that, sir. And you're wrong. So are you, David. So are you, Lucius. So are you, Calvin. What day are they going to arrest y'all? I mean, if I have this, what are we doing with it, Calvin? What are we doing with this stuff, Calvin? Just getting it for, for kicks because we're bored. Until I have my money and my safety and well-being is not at risk, my health. 
Mr. Perry, my health is at risk, and you know that, and you're doing it anyway. I don't like your contact. It disgusts me, and you contact me anyway. You get more when you piss me off doing that shit. It's illegal to do it. You're a creepster peeper. Peeper creepster. All women are turned off by peeping toms. There is nothing sexy about that. When you jam up my, my phone and my dash app doesn't work right and I can't get orders in and I'm not making money, do you feel like a, a you know some big hunk of sexy doing that shit, messing with, you know, hacking some woman? How many men are trying to make me fail? One woman. I mean, do you feel tough guy doing that? Do you feel like a, you know, like I said, a big hunk of sexy man when you act like that? Do you have a real date coming from that? Does it, do you ever, in, in 10 years, have you gotten a real date when you do shit like that? Or do you get told on and caught and told on and caught and told on and caught? You get the same results doing the same thing, David. You got Alzheimer's or something too? Looks like you do. Look at this one. We got tired of him asking us to pull her over. We're busy. I don't, we're not going to harass her for him. That was Manford, wasn't it? They're about to call in a protective order, it looks like. I didn't know this until, I don't know, about a year. A year or something ago, I want to say. They can get that to me in jail, Calvin. That's who you're picking a fight with. Can you do that? What about you, Lucius? Can you get somebody something like that in jail? That's who you're picking a fight with because they can, and they did. And it's Fabian's name on that puzzle, not Charles. And Charles is a much more common name. The probability of it being his name if it were random, if this were random, the probability of his name intersecting being on this puzzle would be a lot higher than Fabian's. Fabian's not that common of a name. Or just Bob, or, or James, or Paul, or Sam. You know, some common name. It's not, though. It's Fabian's name. Because this wasn't random. It was for me. Can you do that? If you can't do that, you better watch out. I mean, I'm just telling you the facts here. What are you up against? Who are you pissing off? Lucius, Calvin, who are you pissing off? You guys are a bunch of hillbillies. Uh, so, okay, so I get pulled over one night and ticketed. And I tell the officer, I have a stalker who caused this on purpose. He took my money. He told everybody he'll listen. I'm taking her money so she can't pay her registration and she'll get pulled over and then we can take her car. And I've said it over and 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 over. We only need it once to prove malicious of forethought. I'm saying it before, not after. I have been saying it. There's a whole fucking album here on you having me pulled over for various reasons going way back. See? Look at all that. We document it and document it and document it and document it. There's the taillight. Taking it, they took your taillight to have you pulled over. Go fix it. So I did. I went to Napa and I fixed it. Okay. All the car act. These have been lots of car accidents. Mr. Perry and Mr. Robertson love to wreck my car. Um, in fact, the the one that I went I, I went out on a, on a dip. Okay, I came down a hill and went and, and hit a dip and went back up. And when I did, my radiator was really low to the ground and and I hit it and it busted. So, um. Just so you know, Mr. Perry, there has already been speculation that you caused that too. If he's hacked her Dasher app to get her to go to a certain place, they're what they call Hansel and Gretel, that's their code word, um, then I think that they knew that dip was there and it would do exactly what it did and he did it on purpose. He did that too. Using her DoorDash food delivery job. So, uh, economic abuse is part of domestic violence and I'm explaining that to the officer. And he's listening and he goes, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, well, I'm going to go write your ticket. Okay, well, we'll see you in court. Because you, you didn't understand a word I, th I just said, did you? Either, either you didn't understand me, or, um, you know, he sent you to do, give me a ticket, and you're on the payroll, and you're corrupt. Which one is it? The second guy pulls me over and offers up charity. Okay, well, I can work, and there's people that are mentally and physically disabled that can't work, and they need that charity, and Mr. Uh, Perry does not get to take from them. He doesn't, he doesn't get to make me go get to charity and take from those people, the resources. Their resources are limited. So, I don't think so. I can work. I think you need to get your hands out of my wallet is what you need to do, cuckoo bird. So, um... <coughs> 
Um, you know, you're a sadistic, gross, nasty criminal. Everybody just fucking hates you. We're, we're sick and tired of this. Everybody is. I can get information before you do it, not after. Over and over. I mean, look at all that. How many times it's talking about pulling me over. Yep. That's a lot. Look at that. I didn't even put out the emails. I put the list of the emails out. That's a lot of emails. Last night, he got pulled over fucking again. I'm like, son of a bitch. This guy, I had drove past him. He's sitting on the side of the road. I, I drove past him. It, I was down the road quite a ways before he comes after me and speeds up to get to me. Like, somebody called me and go, that's her. Get her. Pull her over. Now, we did hear you guys talking about having me pulled over on the street that I was on and pulled over. And uh, I, d I could have gone a different route, and I chose not to because if we... We can build these up enough times. I mean, how many? Let's let's build them up. Let's build them all up. This guy was worse. I mean, the second guy was at least nice. I mean, he was at least like acted like he was trying to help. Okay, well, there's some charities that might be able to help you. Blah blah blah. But again, didn't didn't act like he wants to catch the bad guy. Here's the thing: I can go to the charities. Why don't you go catch the bad guy so this doesn't keep happening, huh? How about that, officer? Isn't that what law enforcement is? Isn't that what you're called to do? Relieve my suffering. Catch the bad guy. We're catching the bad guy. Why aren't you? I mean, we're like, we don't know what Tulsa Police is doing. We're trying to catch the bad guy. So he can't hurt people anymore. That's the goal. Nobody's gotten as much evidence against him to make that happen as we have. Mr. Perry, why is it you think I care what you think? He typed in my phone while I'm doing these. Like he thinks it's a conversation. But the thing is, he shouldn't know what I'm doing right now, and he won't have an alibi to prove he's doing anything but peeping and hacking and trying to contact me after I've asked him not to. I fucking hate it. I don't want to hear it. I fucking don't care what you think. Didn't ask you. What I asked you to do is stop contacting me. For years. For nine years, I've kicked, tried to, my best to kick you off me. You rapist. You do not get to... Use my body against my will for your pretend love life. So, you don't have a date, you don't have information, you don't have a cover-up. We get information every day that you make my life hell. Every time you cause me a loss or an injury. It's been that way for a decade, David. You, you slow? You slow too? Shouldn't take you a decade to see cause and effect, same and different before and after. You got Huntington's also, or, or do you have senile dementia? What is your disease? I mean, we don't know. Lucius, what's yours? Calvin? If you touch a hot stove, David, Calvin, and Lucius, you're going to get burned. Cause and effect. Same and different. Or same. And uh, every time you touch the hot stove, you're going to burn yourself. So why do you keep touching the hot stove 10 years into this? And then whine in and complain when we quote you? Doesn't even make sense. So he pulls up behind me, and I'm like, oh, son of a bitch, here we go again. So I explained, again, the whole thing to him, too. And again, no fucks given. I'm not going to ticket you. I said, wait, I want to see, can you pull up a list of the times I've been pulled over in your computer? Maybe, but I'm busy sitting on the side of the road. I'm just sitting on the side of the road watching people drive by. I'm busy, so I don't have time to look. But I'm not going to ticket you. But you need to get this taken care of. I'm Well, that's I'm trying to, and I'm actually, right now, I'm telling you, you know, I'm a victim of crime, kind of right now. So, your answer to that is, um, I'm busy sitting on the side of the road watching people drive by. And so, why don't you shoe fly shoe? I mean, I'm like, wow, that's not law enforcement, is it? That's why we have 44% increase in murders of domestic violence victims. Because the police are not doing a sh nothing. We don't want to be on the first 48. We don't want to be put in shelter. We want you to put the bad guy in jail and put, stop the crime. In polling, crime was second. Second to what the voters want stopped. Only to inflation. If they don't like, if, if the majority of people don't like crime and they want it stopped, why do you think they'd like yours? We can get information and you can't. You're asking me who leaks are. We don't call around asking leaks. We don't have them. Because we're making life fun and easy while you make it difficult, hard, and miserable. It's not hard at all to get information, sir. I'm not told who your leaks are, and I've said that over and over and over and over and over. And I wouldn't help you if I did know that, because I want for you to be gone, and all the stress you cause, and all the loss you cause, and all the rape, the invasion of my privacy that you cause, you make me creeped out. You're a fucking creepster. I want that gone, and I'll never be broke again. So until you, act, 
until my safety and well-being is first and foremost. I have my food and shelter. I have my money back and I can pay my bills just fine, like normal, before you come, in, come around and steal my money. And uh, until I have my friends and family back in my life, and you're not, in, you're not in it, and I have my privacy, you're gone, and you don't contact me again, no one's going to help you with shit. You can call all you want, you can ask all you want, no one's going to tell you fuck. So, here's your choices. You touch the hot stove, you get burned. You cause me a problem, you're going to get caught beforehand, not after. You have for years, every day. Every fucking day. And, uh, or, you can stop giving us stuff to catch. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. I have to have my food and shelter. I have to have my bills paid. Just like that. I cannot be broke or no one's going to help you. So you you choose. You choose. They're going to do it for you either way. It's called arrest and restitution. It's called arrest, convictions, restitution. Right? And then subsequent civil suits. It, that's just the way it is. It's what it's called. You can give it back and get out or they'll do it for you through the normal legal process. And then they control how that happens. And you have no control over it at all. Just like the flow of information, they control the flow of information. They always have, and they always will. So your guy is kind of perturbed at you. These geniuses have her door dashing. They want her to not hunker down so she can't be pulled. I mean, she'll hunker down, then they can't have her pulled over and a car towed off. Yeah. How many conversations do we have of you guys saying, talking about, we can't let her hunker down, we can't let her hunker down. We got to have her driving so we can have her pulled over. Over and over and over and over. I have all kinds of those too. If I have an email, they got a recording. I don't even type a mom all up because I don't have time. I just don't. I'm at work and I'm at school and I'm busy. I have a life. And you don't. Bizarre bore. Um, you, you don't have any of the victims that have what I have. You don't have them. Do, do you, David? It's different when you do it to me. Either you can understand simple concepts that daycare kids can understand, like cause and effect, same and different before and after, or you can't. And what we're seeing you guys do, it looks like you can't. Like you're all a little mentally slow. Low IQ, no self, no impulse control, slow. Slow as shit. Can't push stuff together in their head that everybody else can do like that. Because most people don't have to be told this. And you've been told and told and told and told and told and told and told. And nobody's going to give you information as long as I don't have money. And my, uh, I, I have late bills that need to be paid. You're intentionally interfering with it. To coerce a lie. You're intentionally depriving me of food and shelter to coerce a lie. Okay, also, I've said this before, we have a forensic accountant who talks to other people who DoorDash, DoorDashed himself. They're, they're not seeing a whole, they're not seeing much of a slump after the holidays. Other people are not. Okay, he's, um, he's always on top of how much money I should be making versus how much money I am making because you're taking it. Because he wants to prove the case, grand larceny with intent to coerce, and interference with contracts and commerce with intent to coerce. So wh why would he not get those numbers together? I'm, I promise you TPD didn't have that. The guys that got me all this, they have it. They have exactly the amount of money you owe me for taking my money. Separately, Mr. Perry owes me $1,000 a day for using my body to pretend he has a love life, invading my privacy in the most vulgar, obscene way imaginable. It's rape. Number two, $2,000 a day for doing that without my consent. And if you are a smart businessman, you'd foresee legal and civil liability and get a contract signed. First you get permission, then you come to an agreement as for compensation, and then you get a contract signed. And then you wouldn't go to jail because you have consent. With me, you don't have consent. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't ask. Nobody asked me. Can, can, there are there are probably some women that would allow you to do that. They'd probably put on quite the show for you. I'm not that person. I didn't, I, I, you know, I have police helping me. The same police that told me Mr. Perry has Huntington's disease and he's a cuckoo bird. He can't, he can't think straight. Speaking of which, what is that date? 3-14-2021, our shrink says he can't pass the cognitive re reasoning test I give my first graders because he messes with you, he gets caught every time, four years, and he can't figure out when you mess with her, you're going to get caught. That's all that's going to happen. You're not going to get a date. You're not a, you're not a hot, sexy, you know, hunk of man when you ruin a woman's life and peep on her. 
and do all that, you know, commit one crime after another against her and cause her to lose everything she cares about and everything she worked for and everything she loves. You, you just get caught. Nothing else has happened but that. So he can't put two and two together. He can't do it. So what's wrong with him? Does he have Alzheimer's or senile dementia? What's he have? At the time, we didn't know he had Huntington's disease. We do now. It explained a lot, didn't it? But that's how long our shrink has been saying he needs to be seen by a doctor badly. He needs to be seen by a doctor badly. What he's doing isn't even benefiting him. And he's still doing it. What the fuck is that stupid? It's not just a day or a week or a month. This has gone on for 10 years. Every time he messes with Cindy, he gets caught. It's different when he does it to Cindy. Why is that? But it's the same every time he does it. We get the information before, not after. We can prove now pre premeditation and malicious aforethought because we got it before. And sometimes, not just once, we may have 50 on the same thing. You saw all those pulled over emails. There's a bunch of them on email. A bunch of them on ringtones. A bunch of them on get her back on that pole and on a schedule. A bunch, bunch of them on get her fired. A bunch of them on, uh, I mean, count, you know, frame her for a murder. Frame her for this murder. Oh, she got, we got caught on that one. Let's frame, frame her for this murder. Oh, get, get the other girl to change her hair color to match Cynthia so they look more alike, right? Get Cynthia to tan so they look more alike, right? But the girl's quite a bit heavier than me, oh, we heard your witnesses said. So, I've never been to the location. Somebody finally questioned that. I don't think she's ever even been to this location where this thing happened, the event. Guess what? On the day of the murder, our hair didn't match, our skin didn't match, and she's quite a bit heavier than me. So even if you change it now, what, good, what fucking difference does it make now? And, uh... The guy was told, she's going to have a public defender who won't think of that. And he goes, have you met Cynthia, dumbass? She'll think of it. She solved Mike and Lucky's deal. She solved it. So I think if it's her own, and there's going to be some kind of question as has she ever been, even been to this location, and she's not, I can't. She's not like she's got fr Perry has her isolated. It's not like she's got a group of friends she hangs out with that they can all say, oh, yeah, we went up there, and this this event happened. I can't even say where she's been. I can't even le legally say here's where she's been and what she's been up to. She works. She goes to the grocery. She goes to sleep. That's it. That's all. Because he's got her all isolated. She doesn't have friends she goes and hangs out with. He took them all. He ran them all off. Threatened them all away. So, um, you know, what, you know what, what am I supposed to do with that? That was a good question, actually. But yeah, if the, if the public defender doesn't think about it, think of stuff like that, she will. You, you didn't see what she did on Mike's case? You think she can't do that just all the time? Are you that slow? You ought to be able to put that together in your head that she's not. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Cognitive reasoning is not there. All right, so we have all this. And uh, let's see, what else we have? We have albums on him. I mean, these albums are dedicated to him repeating himself on the same crime. This one is about car vandalism. See how many times they wrecked my car? One. Two. Three. Four. Plus they had a brick thrown at me on the freeway, so it busted my engine in two. Could have been my head. I'm pretty sure it was meant to be my head. So there's that. Tail lights coming out. Yep. And then we've got one on the interference with income. Food delivery hacks. Um, so Calvin, when you think it's cute when you jam up my app and won't let orders come through, um, please know my guys are sitting there watching you do that. And they're doing a whole lot of research so that when they get to court, they can prove a case against you for interfering with commerce and contracts. You need to know that, you and Lucius. And David, there's one other one though, this one, that, workplace harassment. Okay, so in 10 years, Mr. Perry cannot get a date with me. He's too weirdo. I don't go out with weirdos. I don't go out with men unless they make sure I don't miss a meal. I don't go out with little peeper creepsters. That you, I didn't assure shit, don't go out with a cop killer. <coughs> you repulse me, and everybody knows it. I moved twice to get away from you and to be with my family and not have to ever hear from you again and have no conflict and no strife and no, no bothering 
You've come up here, you've blown up people's lives that have done nothing to you at all. You're not, you didn't lose shit. And you're pissing off people with a lot of power, Calvin, Lucius. People that have the power to, to tell me that he has Huntington's disease. And that explained a lot. And give me that. And give me your names, Calvin and Lucius. Okay? Next time you pick a fight with someone, you need to know who it is you picked a fight with. So he's like, now she's interacting with all these people. And I can't pinpoint shit. If that's how the information is going, it's going from, you know, they got their guy order food and uh, he's passing on something to her uh, when she drops it off or at a restaurant or something. I can't pinpoint that. How am I supposed to, I mean, they should have let her write. They should have, if she was in a strip club and she was making good money and they wanted access to her, they fucked that up. Here's the pit you dug for me. Here's your shovel, dig away. Here's the pit you dug for me and you fall in it every time. It's so easy, it isn't fair. So, that's the last I have to say to this. I'm busy, I have shit to do today. And uh, I have a life, Mr. Perry. I don't get to just sit around and watch cars go by. I don't get to just sit around and watch, you know, people in the privacy of their home. Um, I'm, I'm, busy. I'm actually busy. So, we had three pullovers. Not one of the three TPD officers who are, are not working to get that kind of stuff, like our guys are. Um, show zero interest in catching a bad guy. And so that explains a 44% increase in murder rates in Oklahoma since 2020. Does it not? I think it does. I mean, I'm just going to look at numbers. Numbers are numbers. Argue with the numbers. Okay? It's never just me, TPD. I've learned it's never just me. There's always other people going through the same fucking thing. It's just I'm the vocal one. I'm the vocal one. I have help. I have backup. I have backup. won't even talk to you. So you guys can make all the phone calls you want to make. Mr. Perry can ask me. He can, I mean, I've never answered his questions. I won't. I fucking hate the bitch. I fucking hate him. I can't wait till he's arrested. I don't never. I never want to. I mean, I, I've said that. I never want to hear his name again. I fucking hate the bitch. Um, you don't ruin somebody's life, Mr. Perry, and take their car and think then they'll like me. There goes your mental illness right there. Hallucination, delusion, paranoia. And you can't put two and two together to save your life. You can't even tie your shoe by yourself. And you can't understand a fucking thing I say. And we all know that. And everybody's tired of, you know, have to repeat themselves for you. You need to get a doctor or a nurse or a special ed teacher and go be with your family and, 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 and stop bothering other people with that. Do not bother me with that shit anymore. Don't bother me with it again. I, I didn't invite you to Oklahoma. I came here to get away from you. I have kicked you off me for nine years. Kicked you off me for nine years. So the rest of you, I mean, you, you got to keep up with us. Nobody's going to help you until my safety and well-being is first. I have money. I have food and shelter. I have my car payments made and or whatever payments are associated with my car are made since you intentionally impeded me from doing that. And uh, until I have, you know, what I need. And my privacy, and you're gone. No more contact at all. Comply with the law. You have to comply with the law. Nobody's returning phone calls. Nobody's going to help you with shit. And then you'll find out when they arrest you, and that's that. Okay? I, I've said that already over and over and over and over. You, you guys keep asking. You keep making inquiries. No one's telling you anything, and they won't. Okay? As long as I'm broke, and Mr. Perry, and Lucius, and Calvin, and David Robertson, and Joe Chadwick are a threat to my safety and well-being, no one's going to help. You're not getting any answers. You never have. You never will. We control the flow of information, as you can see, okay? And they'll, you know, you give it back and you get out on your own, or they'll do it for you, and they control that too. And that's, uh, it's, they'll go, it's through the normal legal process. I don't want your byline money, Charles, I'm not going to lie for you. I don't want your house in Houston and then to get raped every day and have to suck all your buddies' dicks. And I'm sorry to be vulgar, but that is what human trafficking is. There are billions of dollars being spent to stop human trafficking. You know why? People don't like it when you do that. That's why it's a crime. Duh. Duh. Calvin, you are a fucking hated bitch. You are cruel. The more cruel to me you guys get, the more of these we get. Cause and effect, same and different, before and after. Okay? It's just like that. Until you're not getting any information, there's no date, you're getting told on and caught. We, the more cruel you get to me, the, more, the easier it is to get this stuff before you do it. My safety, my safety and well-being is what matters. 
when you're in compliance with the law and I have my privacy back and Perry doesn't contact me at all ever again and I have money to take care of myself, I can make money. I can make money. Everybody knows that. These guys have known me most of my adult life. They're, work, they're working with, I can make, you know, we don't know who you think you're fooling. Okay? The Dasher app, you've hacked it. You're using it to limit my income and get me to a certain location. We've already, I mean, we are, these guys are on it. I'm not going to get into all that again because I don't have to. Um, I'm, I'm not a special ed teacher. You're going to have to, um, you're going to have to realize the, the shit hole that you put yourself in. The, the shit, you have put yourself in a, in a load of crap here. So that's your problem. You do, you're going to have to deal with it. But don't, you don't expect, manage your expectations reasonably. Don't expect anyone to help you with information until I'm okay. I have food, shelter, basic rights and needs are met, and I'm fine. Okay, don't expect it. It's not going to happen. It never has happened. It never will. We've explained this to you guys over and over and over and over and over. Poke, poke and peep and pink penny pathetic Perry here. You know, that's what your guy called you. You know, you're pathetic. You are. You're a fucking weirdo. Do, do, it, it, does doing what you do, do, Mr. Perry, does it get you a date or information or a cover-up? It never does, and yet you keep doing it. And it pisses us off, and then we get more. So it's like you don't want our help. My guy, I'm not going to help you. My, our guys will. The guys will take care of that. You don't want the help. You want to get caught. Because when you contact me, we get more. Because I fucking hate it. I don't want to hear from you at all. I didn't ask you what you think. I do not care. Fucking fuck off. Leave me alone. And stop making everybody repeat themselves for you. Stop. Just stop it. Control yourself. Okay? Keep up somehow with everybody else. Get a nurse to help you. You got money? Hire a nurse or a special ed teacher to help you understand what people say. Because we know good and well you have no fucking idea. Not a clue. You can tell by the way you act. You have no fucking idea what people will say to you. You can't process it. Well, I don't know what's wrong with the rest of you. Uh, so there's the expectations. Look back on history. What has happened. What happens every day. And that's what will continue to happen until your arrest. The more information we get, the easier it will be to get a conviction. And a lot more restitution. So every time that bitch contacts me and we get something like that, he asked for it. I said, don't contact me. I'd fucking hate it. Get your hands out of my wallet. Get your fucking hands out of my wallet. Or we'll get more of this. Then it's easier to get a conviction and it's easier and a lot more restitution. Easier to get restitution too. And nobody's going to tell you shit. They haven't all this time. They're not going to start now. I have to have... I have to have my needs met. You cannot deprive me and be inhumane and piss everybody off and deprive me of my food and shelter and my basic rights and needs and expect to get answers. They're not going to come. They never have. They never will. You either get that or you don't. You're either a mental slow like Mr. Perry or you're not. Okay? I'm done. We're done. With the puppets and the crayons and the finger paints. You guys need to keep up. Leave me alone. Oh, I don't want free for this. Please leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even when they're not. Unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay, it's not clever, it's not cool, it's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. And you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. Oh, that's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said, let me talk to you for two minutes. Doesn't matter if it's two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes. If she said no, no means no. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. 
rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk, you should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex, it's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting, dude. Okay, let me let me say one more thing about TPD pullovers. Okay, last night I told the guy, um, I've seen. I go, what made you? Pull? Okay, I'm trying to establish two things. One is, uh, I've, I'm telling you the cause of the pullover is not my negligence. It's not my irresponsibility. I have someone trying to do that to me on purpose. That's a causation issue. And it's a causation issue that if you're in a police officer interested in keeping the peace, you're going to get to the bottom of it. You're going to get to the bottom of it. Otherwise, they told you I was coming by here and they told you to pull me over, just like all those emails said that go with a police recording. Okay? I'm going to establish one of those two things in that call. The guy's going to have his body cam on, I'm assuming. Okay? I ask him, I go, listen, I got a question for you. I have been pulled over three times now in a week. I could have gone down XYZ Street, but get, I didn't tell him this. I'm thinking. I could have gone down XYZ Street because we knew you we heard y'all talking about having me pulled over on this street. I didn't. I came down this street. Now I got three. I don't just have one. I don't have two. I have three pullovers in a week. I'm going to prove my case, TPD. Do you understand what I'm doing? You better keep up with me. I'm not going to slow down for you. I'm not. Nobody picked a fight with you. I came up here to not have a fight with anybody. Okay, so, that said, what I said to him is, I've seen people driving around with a tag that expired last summer. Why aren't they getting pulled over? Why just me? Three times in a week. Do you have a list in your computer? Oh my god, he got jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy. I'm busy, I can't look, it's probably, I'm not gonna look, I'm busy. Sitting on the side of the road watching cars go by? Okay, let me interrupt that with my crime here that I'm trying to tell you about and uh, domestic violence issue. Don't, don't let me bother you and interrupt your time, that, your busy day. So, three of them, one, the, middle, the second one was a lot nicer, a lot more interested in fact, getting some facts from me. But then the offer that he gave me was not, not okay. I mean, I am not going to take someone's food away from them who can't walk or who, who who has a mental disability and can't care for themselves or somebody with Down syndrome or something. I'm not going to do that. That's what that money from a charity is for. Not somebody who's well able to work but has a criminal taking the money faster than they can make it. Or Calvin interfering with contracts and commerce with intent to coerce Lucius, you as well. You two are in just as much trouble as the Princess Cuckoo Bird and Mr. Dumb David. Okay? You, you know, and, and you got people going different directions because I understand Mr. Powell wanted to file some lawsuit or something and can't find me. We need her address. He, he's obsessed with finding my address. But David and Charles, Mr. Powell, are very, doing their very best to make sure I don't have one. They want to take my computer and my driver's license too, by the way, so that I can't complete my school assignments and get a degree and school money. So, duly note that for the record, we already have over and over and over and over. Because you talk about it over and over and you're caught already. You're caught on the trafficking. You're caught on taking my money. You're caught, you're caught on hacking my DoorDash app. Okay? There's your shovel. Dig away. TPD, I'm, I don't have any more finger paints for you either. You guys know I know how to sting up better than you. Um, if I could teach you, I would, believe me, but it's not, I don't know that it's something you can teach. I think you can either do it or you can't. And I can't do a lot of things, but I can do that. Half the time I don't know where the fuck I am. I have to, you know, I'm, I have a deficiency when it comes to finding directions and crap. I can't do it. I'm, I try. I, I fucking have a problem with it. But I can sting up anybody in my sleep. Three times, guys. Three times. I, I told you what I'm looking for. I'm going to find it. I'm gonna build. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna solve my case. I'm gonna build my case. I'm gonna do what you refuse to do, because I'm not the only victim. There's a lot of people hurting bad. Hurting bad. We're not playing games. We're not. Why are you? This is lives. You're playing games with people's lives. Some of those people are children. You have to live with it. This is your legacy. Go home and tell your kids. Look them in the eye. Tell them what you did all day. 
and see if they're proud of you. I mean, you have to, we all have to live with it. We all make choices. We all have to live with the, the results that we choose, okay? I'm not going to get raped every day. I'm not going to. We'll rape you every day. You got to suck on my buddy's dicks, but you'll have a really nice house. And you know good and well I wouldn't. You know good and well that you'll kill me. And Mr. Perry, you can go around telling everybody, oh, we're not going to hurt her. We're not going to... Bullshit. Nobody believes you. You have lied so much, nobody believes the words you say anymore. We think you can't, you don't even know what you're saying. You don't know what anybody else is saying, you don't know what you're saying either. You don't make sense. So, uh, I mean, I just don't have patience. I was raised by four generations of police, the bar's high. Relieve suffering caused by crime, that's the job. Tell the victims you're safe now. He won't hurt you again, we slayed your dragon. That is the job, that's the only thing you're supposed to do. There's nothing else you're supposed to do but that. You might lose your life trying to do that, but that is your job. That's what taxpayers put food on your table, a roof over your head, a car in your driveway to do. Nothing else. Don't harass domestic violence victims for a crook. A crook. Thugs running TPD. Charles, shut up. Did I ask you what you think? No, I did not, Connie Curry. I said don't contact me again. No one cares what you think, and no one understands why the hell you think I care what you think. I didn't ask you. You you are something. Get some help, cuckoo bird. Get some help. You're as wacky as this guy. Leave me alone! Please! Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said let me talk to you for two minutes doesn't matter if it's two minutes five minutes 20 minutes if she said no no means no rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk. You should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex. It's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting. Dude. Jeff guy's been raping you. All right, somebody asked not long ago, I get tired of hearing Cynthia and that girl scream like they're being raped. Don't you? How do you stand it? Okay, most people feel that way, Mr. Perry, about you. And about this guy, you're disturbed, you're demented, you're deranged, and you're caught. I did find out you have Huntington's disease. Okay? I did find out you guys wanted OHP to pull me over today. We've duly noted that for the record. Okay? I've said it already over and over and over. Here's what he's trying to do. You saw all the emails. That's not the half of them. You can't, I mean, golly. Oh, that's okay. I don't, leave me alone. I don't want to pray for this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Just talk to me for two minutes. Oh, my God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. Okay, nobody's ever given you information, Mr. Perry, Mr. Powell, Mr. Burson, Mr. Robertson, Mr. Chadwick, Lucius, Geppetto. Uh, Calvin, nobody's giving you information when you call around trying to find out who's helping me, how they get the information from you to me. Nobody's told you a thing, nor will they, nor will they, until I have my needs met. Food, shelter, cars, car registration, all that stuff's paid up. All the stuff that I need, okay? It's not going to happen. You don't want that. You don't want help. You want to get caught. Because the longer I don't have my basic rights and needs, my guys are pissed. They're furious. So are your leaks. They're furious. We can get information and you can't. Because of it. You make everybody very, very uncomfortable. Very stressed out. And everybody's had enough of it. And they're sick of it. And the longer you drag this on, the less they can do. They're already very limited on what they can do. And it's about to be too fucking late. What day will they arrest you? And you can't hurt anybody ever again. And then we can tell the victims, because TPD doesn't want to do it. We'll do it. You're safe now. We say you're dragon. It won't hurt you ever again. Mr. Perry, no one believes you, because you've lied so much. Don't tell me I'm safe when I'm sleeping in my car and you're trying to take that too. I'm not safe. He types in my phone. You're safe. Oh my God, wow. Oh, and I believe you, because I'm just stupid. I'm a stupid stripper.
You forget who it is you're talking to. I'm the one that's caught your crime like nobody else you know. Yeah. And I get to fool me. So, leave everybody alone, Mr. Perry, my, including my family. How does this make you feel? You're filming my father and my fucking sister. How does this make you feel? I'm put all those scratches on your arm. You want to see the Scratches? You want to I got picture? scratches. I can show you the pictures right now. No, I want you to leave my family fucking alone. Keep hanging outside of there. Get the road. Dude, I promise you, you're gonna get yours and you're gonna get yours. I don't give a fuck. You can bring whoever the fuck you want. That's okay. You're gonna bring the fucking army. I don't give a fuck. How does this make you feel? Huh? You're filming my father and my fucking sister. How does this make you feel? That's okay. I don't care. Leave me alone. All you want. I don't want proof of this. Please That's leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to. But even when they're not... Unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay? It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, you need to leave her alone. And this is Bacon.